I swear to God, I don't even know why we have to sit here and talk about this. But here we are again with the damn media making a big deal over nothing. This video right here that I'm making should not need to be made, but it's 2021. You are not allowed to say anything in 2021. If you guys missed the Notre Dame-Florida State game last night, you really missed out. You really did. It was the best game of the weekend, and this is what college football should be about every week. Close, competitive games against two traditional powerhouse teams. I like watching Notre Dame because they're one of very, very few programs that play a somewhat competitive schedule. Contrast Notre Dame with teams like Alabama and Clemson, who play mostly cupcakes. Hell, last year, I don't think Clemson played a ranked opponent until the playoffs. Anyway, Notre Dame's up 38-20 to in the third quarter. Ended up allowing Florida State to come back and tie the game, forced overtime. A lot of that had to do with Mackenzie Milton, who came in early in the fourth quarter and should have been the starting quarterback to begin with. Notre Dame wins in overtime. Nice road win for them. Brian Kelly is interviewed by ESPN on the field after the game. Here is the comment the media is making a big deal about. With Stan, Florida State's impressive comeback. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in favor of uh, execution. Maybe, maybe our entire team needs to be executed after tonight. I mean, it, we just didn't have... You know... Let me just give you a little bit of background first. Brian Kelly was referencing an old joke from Tampa Bay Buccaneers coach John McKay back in 1976. The Bucs were 0-14 that season, one of the worst teams in the history of the NFL. They were embarrassing. A few years back, I think the NFL Network actually did a documentary about the 1976 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, they were bad. John McKay, at some point that season, was asked about his team's execution after a game. And he replied, I'm in favor of it. It was much funnier when he said it than when Brian Kelly said it. You can find the clip online. When John McKay said it back in 1976, everyone laughed about it. You know, because it was a joke. In 1976, people still had a sense of humor. In 1976, people still walked around with common sense. In 76, you were allowed to say things like this and people took it for what it was. But this is not the mid-70s anymore. This is 2021, where every single thing must be analyzed and dissected and spun into a big story so someone can be canceled. Brian Kelly is the latest victim of cancel culture. He's the latest victim of the dumbass bums on Twitter. This is why I hate social media. And to be honest, this is why I hate the media in general and believe almost nothing that the media reports. Even Barstool Sports, Dave Portnoy's site, which usually operates with a modicum of common sense, even Barstool Sports jumped on the Brian Kelly comment. Did Brian Kelly just say his team should be executed? Oh no, he's talking about wanting to murder college kids. Someone call the police. Come on. If anyone took Brian Kelly's comments seriously, they have a real problem. Clearly, they don't have the ability to think for themselves. Just like with most things, one media outlet ran with this comment, and it was a domino effect. All the other media sites fell in line and followed the leader. Chris Fowler over at Woke ESPN, he chimed in, this is 2021. This attempt at humor just doesn't work anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, it shouldn't be that way. No humor is allowed in 2021. Now, did the joke fall flat? Of course it did. Brian Kelly is not a funny guy. He's had a lot of awkward moments with the media in the past. Being awkward with the media is normal for Brian Kelly. But he didn't mean this literally. He took the setup from the sideline reporter, delivered a joke that fell flat because he delivered it wrong. That should be the end of story, but it's not. Can't be like that in 2021. Princess Woke, Skip Bayless, threw up his opinion. Your team just won at Florida State. That deserves execution? 
Jenna Lane at ESPN. 1976 was a different time, man. You can't say things like this in 2021. Keep your mouth shut. Make every post-game interview as boring as a Bill Belichick press conference. They're taking the fun out of sports. Sports are supposed to be fun, not serious. The majority of post-game interviews with coaches are all the same. Same boring coach speak. That's a good team we just played. They're well coached. We didn't execute well offensively. We will watch the tape and improve next week. Clearly, Brian Kelly sucks at being a comedian, but at least he was trying to have fun, trying to make light of the situation. This shouldn't even be news, but this story right here was on the front page of ESPN most of today. Not the fact that Notre Dame beat Florida State on the road. That wasn't the big news. ESPN considered Brian Kelly's execution comment big news. The woke media sucks. They suck. And the nudniks on Twitter don't make things any better. People need to lighten up. Quit taking things so seriously. I used to enjoy Twitter. I used to be active on there. And I've been trying to be more active on Twitter. I noticed a lot of you guys have started following me on there. I've been trying to post more on Twitter. And once the NFL starts this week, I probably will. But I just don't enjoy Twitter as much as I used to. And this Brian Kelly situation is one of the reasons why. You can't say anything on Twitter without some soft ass getting offended, getting their feelings hurt. I took a long break from Twitter last year during the COVID. When the NBA shut down their season, I blasted Adam Silver for what I thought was him overreacting. You would have thought I set off an atomic bomb. After the overreaction I got, I just decided I didn't need it in my life, and I was off Twitter for a while. This isn't about an insignificant Brian Kelly comment. This is about silencing people. They do this so people are always thinking about what they say publicly. They want everyone to be robotic. It's killed stand-up comedy, ruined late-night television. But props to Brian Kelly for not backing down and apologizing. He gave an interview today to The Athletic, and he didn't back down. He didn't issue the typical apology, the apology that weak people issue because they're too afraid to stand up for themselves. Brian Kelly said, hey dude, I was joking. Then he said, are you people crazy? Yes, Brian Kelly. Yes, they are. All right, time to let me know what you think. Were you offended by Brian Kelly's comments? And if you were, you're watching the wrong YouTuber. Give me your thoughts on the media overreaction. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.